All right. Question number six. Let's do this. So uh, I wrote it down. This question right here. Uh, I wrote it down for us. It says the overhead reach distances of adult females are normally distributed. So the second you read normally distributed, the first visual you should have or draw is some sort of normal distribution, right? So it'll look something like this, right? And with a mean of 202.5. So if you have a mean of 202.5, that will be your center. So this is 202.5 uh, centimeters, right? And what's the next part? It says a standard deviation of 8.3 centimeters. Okay, so let's write our symbols. We know that mu will be 202.5. Our sigma will be our 8.3 centimeters, right? Centimeters in here, uh, we're talking about a population of adult females, right? So we need to use our Greek symbols. And it says here, it says find the probability that the mean for 25 randomly selected distances is greater than 230 centimeters. So how do we solve this question? Um, let's see, so, okay, yeah. Our X value here is 200.30 centimeters. So the first part we need to do is no, note that we need this formula to find the z value that x minus mu over sigma over square root of n. Okay, and here our n value is uh, 25. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to plug in these values into uh, to calculate the z value, and then we, we're going to calculate which distances are greater. So here, what is the z value for this uh, for this number over here? Well, let's use the calculator because I have no idea. So if you have a nice fancy calculator, uh, what you could do is you put uh, fractions within this. So let's see. Um, what I want to do on the top is I want to do 202. I'm sorry. Uh, I want to do, yeah, 200.30 minus 202.5 and on the bottom I want to put in another fraction and on the top I'll put sigma which is uh, 8.3 and on the bottom I'm going to put square root of 25 well the square root 25 is 5 and then I'll just hit enter and that's the value I get so my z value is uh, negative 1.3 and I'll say 3 3 because this five is saying that we need to round this up. So it's negative 1.33, okay? So here, if this is our Z value for negative 1.33, where is that Z value? It's somewhere over here, right? This is one negative one standard deviation to the left. And what the question is saying, we wanna know what's greater than this. So we wanna find this area over here. So what we need to do is we need to go to our Z table and we need to find negative 1.33. So where is negative 1.33? Let me zoom in a little bit. I'm sorry, zoom out a little bit. So negative one point, I'm sorry, negative 1.33, which is this one here. So what this 0 0.0918, so 0 0.0918. This point 0.0918 represents the area to the left. It's this area over here, but we don't want this area here in the blue. We want the area in the green because we want to know what's greater than this. So to find this area in the green, all we need to do is one minus the point 0.0918. And let's see what do we get. So if we have one minus point 0.0918, we get point 9082 and this is 90.82%. So there is a 90.82% chance that um what's the question talking about? There is a 90.82% chance that the probability for 25 randomly selected people will have an overhead reach distance of greater than 230 centimeters. For the for females for adult females uh, playing tennis, okay, that was 
the answer. It was pretty straightforward. I realized um, I made some problems that were not similar to this question. This question was so much easier than the other questions that were given in, in your, that should have been given in your class, like uh, this example over here, or this example over here. Um, ignore these questions here. I'll try and, in the next video, I'll try and make another example where you do, you know, where you have to do a question similar to this. Okay, I'll see you.